Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. Once again, it seems like we've forgotten that we're in a goddamn pandemic. On my way home from work, I heard on the radio, the DJ, whatever you want to call him, basically saying, oh, well, you know, we're just waiting for a vaccine. This is beyond waiting for a vaccine. Numbers, whether you're in America or here in Canada, are trending in the wrong goddamn direction. There's projections saying that here in Canada, if we don't get our shit together, we're looking at 6,500 cases a day by Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry fucking Christmas. Congratulations, people, by being so selfish and by thinking that, you know what, we're just tired of everything, so I'm gonna let up because, oh, geez, you know, Quarantine's so hard. Yeah, that's the goddamn point. This isn't easy. To, to quote all those people on the right where everything's a war, you know, war on terror, war on drugs. We are at war with a goddamn virus and it's time we start treating it like that. And yet so many of our governments simply aren't. Oh, 30 kids in a classroom? That's fine. Kids not wearing masks half the time. That's fine. People at work and at home and in close quarters not wearing masks half the goddamn time. Oh, well, whatever. This is not how you win a war. This is not how you win a battle for society and for your own health and well-being. This is beyond bothersome. It is infuriating. They're talking about, you know, rolling circuit breaker lockdowns where we just have to shut everything down completely for three weeks at a time to try and get this virus under control. And maybe that's what we need to do. And maybe there need to be curfews and actual, like, I don't know, bring back public shaming or something. Because there's too many violations happening at the individual level and at the government level that is preventing the proper... I can't say healing, but the managing of a health crisis. It is beyond infuriating when you and others you know are trying to do everything you can to keep yourself, your loved ones, and your community safe. And all it takes is one person, one selfish fucking prick to absolutely ruin it for everyone else. Individualism is fine, but not at the expense of the collective in which the individual participates. Society is ultimately hanging by a thread, and everyone needs to get their act together. Especially if you're an American, because if you want to see your families for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and still have those family members with you and safe and healthy in the new year, then you need to be safe and responsible and you need to call out those who aren't being safe and responsible here in Canada we still have a narrow window but a window nonetheless to actually fix well not fix but to begin addressing and properly managing our crisis up here so that we don't end up with over 6,000 cases a day in the lead up to Christmas and New Year's let's get our act together and let's actually really sit down and fight this thing and treat it like the serious war that it is. This isn't some fake enemy. It's not fake news. This is a real thing that is having very real health effects on everyone who gets it. There are people where, sure, they don't die, but the recovery time is incredibly long. It causes various different diseases or illnesses for all people at any age group it just affect it just affects different uh, demographics differently but it's still an effect for God's sake be safe because you don't want to be a 30 year old with blood clots you don't want to be a healthy 25 year old and suffering a brain aneurysm you don't want to be 40s in your 40s or 50s and spending weeks if not months feeling perpetually exhausted and struggling to breathe. You don't want to be a child catching this and not knowing what the developmental problems will be years down the line. You don't want to be 
an old person and catch this and most likely die from complications of it. Our society is only as important as the people who participate in it. And I wish that that was being respected more, but clearly it isn't. And clearly we're just getting too tired and we're letting things slip. And so this whole health pandemic is just getting worse and worse because we're still putting profits and concern about deficits and our own selfishness above the health and safety of those we claim to love. And that is what is deeply bothering me today. 